You guys come up here. First, stand right here. Stand right there. Jim, stand behind him and come stand behind him. What I do, one of the things I try to do is prom I, I promote uh, local businesses. And what we have is this right now is being um, videotaped and it's live on the internet. And the key behind the one minute pitch is to ha allow businesses to get a broader perspective and a broader range on their marketing and advertising. The more people that see you, the more opportunities you got to make money, right? Now, remember I taught you something. Everything I do, when I lost everything, I said I lost what? Mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, even lost my wife, right? Work with a company, took it from zero to, it's doing like months over 400,000, right? Well, why, what's the difference between my success now and in the past? If you give back, you'll get back. I'm controlling the energy. I'm controlling the energy. You say, what do I do? My whole deal is I'm not, I'll get a return. Whether the return comes from her or not, I'll still get a return because I'm controlling the energy. You guys got that? So every time she becomes prosperous, I become prosperous. Like my mom used to tell me, my mom was an evangelist, and sometimes people I knew who were having tough times used to try to give me money. And I'm like, I know you broke. Why are you giving me money? And I said, stop. My mom said, why you do that? And I said, what do you mean they don't have it? She says, you're blocking their blessing. She says, stop blocking their blessing. When somebody wants to give you something, Take it, because what they're giving you, they're going to multiply it a million times more, a hundred times more, ten times more, depending on their mentality. <laughs> See, it's not thinking things into existence. So we thought, uh, we all have the ability to think things into existence. So you guys realize that, right? We thought our jobs into existence. Some of us thought our kids into existence. Some of us thought our high schools into existence, right? Some of us thought our college degree into existence, right? So the key is this. You got to think things into a higher level of existence because everyone can think like that. <laughs> if you chase money, you never have it. But if you chase personal growth, you're sure to obtain wealth. You guys got that? OK. So we're going to have friendly competition, too. Because what we're going to do we're going to need crowd participation, right? Go ahead. Uh, wait, Keith, we got Rodney. Now, these are the rules. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Rodney's going to count off. You got to watch him. You got 60 seconds. Okay. Now, the crowd is going to watch each person who pitches. And then once they finish pitching, I'm going to go, And whoever's the best one gets $10. <laughs> I believe in friendly competition. That's what makes America great, right? right. You're with me. Yes. So Rod Rodney Nickens, come on up here, man. They got to see who you are. <laughs> OK, all right. This is very simple. I'm going I'm to count you down. And then as you get close, I'm going to say, cut. All right, you ready? How much are you? Gentlemen in the white, well, I'll let them come. Them. Really? Peace and love, y'all. My name is Naya Bingi, Melanie Price, and I am the founder, partner, co-owner of Destination One World Travel. Our objective is to get more people out of the hood and see the world, to get out, to broaden our perspectives, you can go to our website at www.destinationoneworld.com. No, no, no. Let me back up. Destinationoneworld.paycation.com. Again, that's www.destinationoneworld.paycation.com. You can even give us a call at our office, 310-981-8227. Again, 310-981-8227. Where's the time, Kiefer? Yeah, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause 
for this young lady. All right. Next up. Good evening, family. I'm Dr. Eric J. Chambers. I'm the author and the publisher of Who That Publishing House, based here in Southern California. Many of you know the story of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old who was murdered on August 28, 1955, in Money, Mississippi. Well, Emmett's mother, Mrs. Mamie Till Mobley, was my surrogate grandmother. This picture right here in color is a picture of the two of us and others at dinner in San Diego. Because of the fact that I've dined with her, and I've also dined with Sister Rosa Parks and with Frankie Beverly and various others, I decided to ask a bunch of celebrities if you had a chance to spend an evening at dinner with anyone from our black history past, who would it be? And what would that conversation consist of? The answers have been outstanding. I interviewed over 250 people in this book, Dining with the Ancestors. You can go to diningwiththeancestors.com to learn all about it. But we have people like Tyler Perry, Taraji P. Henson, Gladys Knight, who told me that Dr. King was her cousin and nobody knew. And Kendrick Rodney Lamar. Nichols. You got Rodney Nickens. All right. <laughs> All right, let's give a big round of applause. Big round of applause. Excellent, excellent. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. My name is Jim Moore, and the name of my company is JEM Computer Consulting. I've been a computer consultant independent since 1992. I started with uh, Aerospace Corporation back in 1972, became a senior manager, broke out, and decided to become an independent. My company specializes in small to medium sized businesses. We build custom computers with free three year guarantees. We repair computers, we build websites, we install closed circuit TV systems, we do specialized instructions, and anything involving the PC world. You can find my company on www.jemcomputer.net, and we are there 24 7 to serve your needs. Thank you very much. All right. He still has some time left. He still has some time left, ladies and gentlemen. Let the contestants come on back up. All the contestants come on back up. Come on back up. All right. This is some good stuff. The one-minute pitch live at the J spot. Now, as Mr. C said, we need some crowd participation. Now, I'm kind of short for this young man here, but I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get on my tippy toes. Let's hear it for contestant number three. All right, all right. Contestant number one. Contestant number two. All right, hold up, Mr. C. That's kind of difficult. I think they all winners. I think they all winners. Then we gonna, we gonna do it again? <laughs> Look, Mr. C said this ain't your money. Hold up, huh? All all winners. Hold up, Mr. C, your mic. <laughs> they all winners. Ronnie, how you gonna give up my money, man? <laughs> Ah! All right, look at that, all use winners. Other people's money, right? Use other people's money. OPM, OPM, other people's there money. There you go, give them all a All right, all around applause. All right, thank you, thank you, thank Rodney, you. Rodney, stay up and talk about the mindset, brother. Oh my goodness, Mr. C, we're talking about the mindset. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about the mindset, we often wonder why when lottery winners win the money, they wind up broke. In 10, maybe five years, we wonder why when basketball, football, baseball players, when they finish, they finish their season. And their season is when they can't play no more. They wind up broke. We wonder why. Well, it's all because of the mindset. See, they have a specialized knowledge on playing a particular sport or a gift and a talent, but they don't have the mindset of a business person to make the money multiply. And it's all a subconscious program. See, and they rely on others to enrich them. When they should go in their mind, in their deeper mind, which is their mindset and their subconscious mind, and reprogram themselves so that they can keep the money. One of my mentors told me a long time ago, he said, Rodney, it is best that you become a 
mental millionaire before you get the money so that you can keep it when you get it. Did you catch that? I'm going to say that again. One of my mentors told me, he said, it's best that you become a mental millionaire before you get the physical money. So when the physical money comes, you get to keep it. That's a powerful statement there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I, I live my life on, on that particular statement. So what I did, ladies and gentlemen, I became what is known as Rodney, that mind coach. All right? Now, what I did is I, I studied with some of the best teachers out there, and they told me to go to school and get this education about the mindset, not this education that we learn that, that's not going to be helpful to us, but the stuff that can help you change your life. So what I did is I attended one of the most prestigious hypnotherapy colleges in the United States of America called HMI. It's the only accredited hypnotherapy college in the, in the nation. I graduated from that college with flying colors because that was something I wanted to learn. See, it's funny when, you, when you're teaching and learning something that you really want to learn, you really pay attention. But when they was talking about history, they was talking about Pythagorean theory and all that, the geometry and stuff. Did, was you paying attention then? You were asleep. But when you are learning something that's, that's going to help you enrich other people's lives, you pay attention and you really grasp it. So also I've been fortunate and blessed to study some other methods and techniques that help individuals get to the subconscious mind and change the program that's in there, such as NLP. How many people have heard of NLP? All right, Neuro Linguistic Programming. What about EFT? Emergency Frequency Technique. That's a technique where you tap on the meridian points in your body. Did you know you have meridian points? See, these are things that they don't teach you in regular school. You got to go and get this information. And this is information that can help you break the barriers of poverty. And, and live in abundance. Now, when I say abundance and I say riches and I say wealth, for some folks it might not be a million dollars. It might be a half a million dollars. But these are the techniques that can help you break that, that mindset of poverty and help you get over the hump. You know, it's, it's really funny. I talk with and train with a lot of individuals that are very successful and ultra successful. They hired me to be their mind coach. And it's, it's really amazing to me that the average person don't see it necessary to hire a coach, a mind coach. See, all professional athletes, they have coaches in every area of their life. Michael Jordan had a what? A jump shot coach. He had a mind coach as well. I wish I was that mind coach, but I wasn't Michael's mind coach. All right, also, check this out. Did you all know that Mike Tyson, when, when he was in his prime, before he went into the ring, he consulted with his mind coach. And his mind coach helped him with some visualization called hypnosis. And on that fateful day that he didn't consult with that mind coach, guess what happened? Buster Douglas knocked him out. Knocked him out. You think it's a coincidence? Success is not a coincidence. Success is not a, a accident. It's a calculated daily, daily regimen of doing the things that successful people do. So, you know, I've been very fortunate and very blessed to, like I said, work with some of the most incredible individuals on this planet and, and train with some of the master teachers. But it's not about me. It's about how we can all forge forward and really make a change, a positive change in our lives. So what I like to do is bring back up the, the, the most incredible visionary that we have, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, you are definitely being blessed tonight to be able to hear this gentleman speak. He trains in front of hundreds of thousands of people, and he's helped thousands of people really change their lives. So you guys don't realize how blessed you are to have Mr. C here tonight, here in this event, training you all, sharing this information about personal credit worthy and business credit worthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off the stage and hand it back to Mr. C. Mr. C, take it over. Thank you. Give him a hand, guys. Give him a hand. See, one of the things I learned a long time ago, I remember going to a meeting, 